Hello everyone. Today we will talk about artificial intelligence, which is the second module from the class 11th NCERT Python syllabus, chapter 3, Emerging Trends. If you would like to understand this concept in Hindi first, please check the link in the description box below. This video only covers the second module of the third chapter. If you want to know more about the other modules, please check the description box below for links to our related videos regarding the same. Let us now begin our discussion on artificial intelligence or AI. Have you ever wondered how Google Maps inform us on which road has less traffic by constantly calculating real-time data? It is an application of artificial intelligence. The intelligent digital personal assistants like Siri, Google, Alexa, etc. are all powered by AI. So we can say that artificial intelligence endeavors to simulate the natural intelligence of human beings into machines, thus making them behave intelligently. So artificial intelligence is all about teaching machines to think like humans and behave intelligently. An intelligent machine is supposed to imitate some of the cognitive functions of humans like learning, decision making and problem solving. In order to make machines perform tasks with minimum human intervention, they are programmed to create a knowledge base and make decisions based on it. AI system can also learn from past experiences or outcomes to make new decisions. It is important to note that artificial intelligence covers a very large area of application. We can understand this topic better by dividing AI into four sections which are machine learning, natural language processing, immersive experiences and robotics. Once we understand all these terms better, then the complete domain of AI will be covered successfully. So let us begin by understanding each of these topics carefully. Starting with machine learning. So let us assume that we have a bunch of pictures of cats and dogs. Our model will have an algorithm which can correctly tell us whether the picture shown is of a cat or a dog. In case of wrong results, we can modify our algorithm to better identify the same. After successful training and testing phase, the model is used to make predictions about new and unknown data, giving it a thinking-like ability. So now, let us get into the technical terms for the same scenario which depicts machine learning. Machine learning is a subsystem of artificial intelligence, wherein Computers have the ability to learn from data using statistical techniques without being explicitly programmed by a human being. It comprises of algorithms that use data to learn on their own and make predictions. These algorithms are called models, are first trained and tested using a training data and testing data respectively. After successive trainings, once these models are able to give results, to an acceptable level of accuracy, they are used to make predictions about the new and unknown data. Moving on to Natural Language Processing or NLP. The predictive typing features of search engine that help us by suggesting the next word in the sentence while typing keywords and spell checking features are examples of natural language processing or NLP. It deals with the interaction between the humans and the computers while using human spoken languages like Hindi, English and others. In fact, it is possible to search the web or operate or control our devices using our voice. All this is possible only because of NLP. 
an nlp system can perform text to speech and speech to text conversion machine translation is a rapidly emerging field where machines are already able to translate text from one language to another with fair amount of correctness another emerging application area is automated customer service where a computer software can now interact with customers to serve their queries or complaints this is all about nlp let us now talk about immersive experiences immersive experiences allow us to visualize feel and react by stimulating our senses it enhances our interaction and involvement by making them more realistic and engaging immersive experiences can be achieved by using virtual reality and augmented reality once we understand virtual reality and augmented reality better then the topic of immersive experiences will be completely clear to us virtual reality or vr is a 3d computer generated situation that simulates the real world the user can interact with and explore that environment by getting immersed in it while interacting with the objects and other actions of the users at present it is achieved with the help of vr headset in order to make the experience of vr more realistic it promotes other sensory information like sound smell motion temperature etc it is a comparatively new field and has found its application in gaming military training medical procedures entertainment social science and psychology engineering other areas where simulation is needed is for a better understanding and learning a great example of augmented reality is pokemon go the superimposition of computer generated perceptual information over the existing physical surroundings is called augmented reality or ar it adds components of the digital world to the physical world along with the associated tactile and other sensory requirements thereby making the environment interactive and digitally manipulatable users can access information about the nearest places with reference to their current location they can get information about places and choose on the basis of user reviews with the help of the location based ar apps travelers can access real time information and historical places just by pointing their camera and view finders to the subject location based ar apps are a major form of ar apps one important point to note here is like that unlike virtual reality the augmented reality does not create something new it just alters or augments the perception of the underlying physical world through additional information so in virtual reality everything the surroundings is changed but in augmented reality only additional information is added on top of the real existing world which you see through your camera lenses moving on to the final topic which is robotics a robot is basically a machine capable of carrying out one or more tasks automatically with accuracy and precision unlike other machines a robot is a programmable by computer which means it can follow the instructions given through the computer programs robots were initially conceptualized for doing repetitive industrial tasks that are boring or stressful for humans or were labor intensive sensors are one of the prime components of a robot robots can be of many types such as wheeled robots legged robots manipulators and humanoids robots that resemble humans are known as humanoids robots are being used in industries medical science bionics scientific research military etc robotics is an interdisciplinary branch of technology requiring applications of mechanical engineering electronics and computer science among others robotics is primarily considered 
am concerned with the design, fabrication, operation and application of robot. Here are a few examples of robots. NASA's Mars Exploration Rover MER mission is a robotic space mission to study about the planet Mars. SOFIA is a humanoid that uses artificial intelligence, visual data processing, facial recognition and also imitates human gestures and facial expression. A drone is an unmanned aircraft which can be remotely controlled or can fly autonomously through software controlled flight plans in their embedded systems, working in conjunction with onboard sensors and GPS. They are being used in many fields such as journalism, filming, aerial photography, shipping or delivery at short distances, disaster management, search and rescue operations, healthcare and so much more. So these are a great examples to know and learn about robotics. With this, we come to the end of the second module, which was artificial intelligence. Let us now just go through the topics which were covered. They were machine learning, natural language processing, immersive experiences, which included virtual reality and augmented reality, and finally robotics. All these together make up the artificial intelligence. Thank you for your time. Please comment down your suggestions so on how we can improve. And please like and subscribe to stay updated on the different modules and videos that we upload on our channel. So thank you.